it's for y'all <laughs> i've got another mug so i have shown you this one i think in my fashion video <laughs> i forgot that i've ordered another one uh, this one says happy for y'all you all know the story so i originally got this mug from one of my subscribers but as you can see paul's been putting it in a dishwasher and all the writings come away so i've been obsessed with finding y'all mug and i thought i bought this one on etsy but i don't think now this one was from etsy because this one i think came from etsy <laughs> I know this one came from Canada, I think, or this one, I, I'm not sure. But you can definitely find, find them here in the UK if you look hard enough. Um, I didn't know about it too, but I did. Anyway, it's my birthday week. Yes, it's this time of the year again, Scorpio season. And I've just received something amazing. And it's so nice because it's my birthday. So I got a couple of bags from Teddy Blake. They come always in this lovely box. And I am so happy. So let me show them to you. So you know, I bought these lovely orange shoes in the summer. They were really inexpensive from from H&M but I didn't have orange handbag and now I have one I will leave you the links to those I think I have a discount code as well look how gorgeous this one is so Teddy Blake New York uh, these bags are designed and made in Italy I think they are leather bags they are so gorgeous they are up there with all the designer bags when it comes to craftsmanship um, they have even leather inside now this one is quite small and a bit um, I would say difficult to put things in but I've just noticed that you can undo this on the side and that makes it much bigger so obviously it comes with a strap as well what's in here is that a lock it's probably a lock because most of the bags come with a lock i can't remember now the names of these bags but i will put them um, in the description box because they do quite a few um few different designs oh yes you have a lock so um how would you lock how would you lock it i'm not sure how you would lock it because it doesn't have a lock on a zip where is the actual key the key will be here yeah you've got a key and a lock you probably would have wind it wrapped round both of these but i probably wouldn't use it but you could just wrap it around one of those because it looks nice you know to have that dangling down so anyway so this is my orange one you've got the teddy blake on here i don't know if that color is true to life in a in a camera it's very vibrant orange anyway and then they always come in their own dust bags sorry about my washing machine going but we used to this on monday somewhere um and this is the other one that i got so it's pink one and i don't have like a dark pink color i have pale pink handbag and i have like a mid pink but look at this one it comes it comes across a bit red but it's it's almost like a i would actually call it cranberry so it is it's got a bit of a fuchsia pink in it but i can see like cranberry in it 
Oh, I don't like it how it comes across on this camera. It sort of comes across red, but it is not red. So I thought this one would be lovely for winter. I like in winter, if I'm wearing mostly black, I like to add like a pop of color with the handbag. I've got a bright red handbag that I often wear. And this one, I think this um, shape and this model is probably my favorite simply for the ease of getting into it. You just open that and it's quite big when it opens up. So again, you get a strap, you get free paper. Look how gorgeous that is inside. So this one is really easy to get into and you have three holes here. So depending how full your bag is, you know, you can um, adjust this. So yeah, this one is gorgeous too. Oh my God, I hope this color is really not coming across. Anyway, thank you so much to Teddy Blake for these. What a wonderful birthday present. Right, I was so annoyed about this color not coming across. I put my big camera on and let's see. I can't really tell when I look in the viewfinder if it comes across true to life. Is it pink to you? It's a dark pink. It's not red. On my screen it looks pink. That looks red, so I don't know. I really want this color to come across. I don't know if it's just this particular color that is not very good for the camera to pick up. Let's see the orange. You see the orange comes up perfectly. That's exactly the color it is. So, I don't know. I just don't want it to be red because it's not red in any way whatsoever. Okay, I'm filming this with my phone now and it's still not the color that it is. You just have to trust me, it's a dark pink cranberry color, cool tone of pink. This is still not exactly what it is. Sorry, I can't do anything else about it. Right, back to my vlogging camera. So yes, it's my birthday week. So Paul is taking me on my birthdays to Penny Hill Park for an afternoon tea. And um, you might not know this, but I am absolutely not that bothered about birthdays. Um, I don't know if it's something to do with the way I've been brought up, because in Poland, in Eastern Europe, you know, in communism, uh, we didn't celebrate birthdays. We would celebrate 18th, because that's when you become an adult, and then you do things like 50 and 80, I think. We have name days, which is too long to go into it. Um, my name day is on the 21st of January. Uh, so yes, we, we've we never had this type of kids' birthday parties, you know, and maybe you celebrate when your child turns one. I wouldn't know because I didn't have children when I was in Poland, so I wouldn't know. Anyway, um, and you know, Paul always asks me, what do you want for your birthday? And I'm like, I don't really need anything. Um, when I see something throughout the year, I just buy that and I don't have like a wish list. There isn't anything that I need, you know, we want plenty, but most of us, if we're honest with ourselves, we don't need anything. Wanted to tell you something. So, you know, I was uh, in two minds about becoming the member of Beauty Pie, and I eventually did. Now, I know a lot of YouTubers by Beauty Pie. I am not affiliated with them. I don't want you to go and buy it or do what I'm doing. I was just very intrigued and remember I bought that, um, I took advantage of that 60 day free membership where you can buy for the membership prices and I love this stuff. I included it in my last skincare video. So I thought, yes, I do it. 
Uh, bottom line is I love the product so much so I haven't had Botox in eight months now so it's all gone and I haven't had any fillers for three years and I don't think I will have fillers again and I'm thinking I might not even have the Botox. The only thing that makes me want to have it done again is when I have it in my cross feet because I only have it in my cross feet and here because that lifts my hooded eyes a bit so I'm not sure but I'm not in a rush for it so and I'm happy with the way especially my um, eye area looks you know I'm obsessed with my eye area because if you've been with me from the beginning I used to have terrible bags I mean they could have been a lot of factors contributing to it. I was a bit overweight, so I felt I was puffy. Also, I'm talking 10 years ago, I wasn't into skincare at all. I just put any old moisturizer on and that was it. Uh, so I became serious about skincare four or five years ago, I would say quite late. Anyway, so I've repurchased some things from uh, Beauty Pie and also I want to try some new things. So I've repurchased things like this, uh, the um, niacinamide drops and the eye retinol cream. Uh, but I've bought the Super Retinol High Dose Intensive Booster Treatment. So I have the Super Retinol Night Cream, which I've been using every night, but this is stronger. So you're supposed to use it for a month and I think then you stop for a couple of months and then use it again because it's much stronger. I got these Pure 3% Reservatrol, little, they are so cute, Micro Sponge, little pockets I love these so they look like this and you just twist it and squeeze whatever you see in it it's nice it's like popping a pimple and you just get the right dose I usually I think use too much of my skincare smells gorgeous smells of berries it's all natural fruit oils and the feel of it is like velvet on your skin i don't know but i'm really enjoying these and i bought three more eye products because i am so obsessed with my under eye area so i think i have now all of the eye products i have the retinol cream which i use now at night with triple hyaluronic acid cream i sort of mix them and then in the morning i use the pure ceramides so it's like a concentrate I didn't know it's got this you know massage balls and it wouldn't work till I read on a box that to start it off you have to turn it around at least 20 times for it to start coming out and I put that on first and then I put the Obayos cream so I, I just throw everything at my eyes I also uh, got um, <clears throat> body scrub which i love i used it this morning and the body cream and i thought i'd try the candles because people rave about the candles uh, it's just a one wick candle this is a bayard de miel they supposed to burn for something like 60 hours i think um i've burned it one day already and i had it for quite a few hours and i would say that it went down just centimeter it smells gorgeous so the the positives it smells gorgeous very expensive like if you went into an expensive store burns really evenly because that's what was worrying me usually the whack wick whack one wick candles sort of just burn a hole in the middle and the sides stay up this one burns really evenly they are made in France um, I think this is £20, which I can buy Bath & Body Works candle, which is bigger, with three wicks for 25 here on eBay. Uh, they probably don't burn as long as these ones, but I don't feel like the smell is as strong as the Bath & Body Works. I think nothing beats Bath & Body Works. If I burn one of those, my whole house 
I can smell it coming downstairs. This one, I would say, is good if you have it in one enclosed room, small room. Uh, like downstairs, I have most of it is just like open plan, so it's a big area. Then my living room, I have stairs going upstairs from there, so it's open as well. So I didn't feel like I could really, really smell it. But I think if you have it in a smaller enclosed room, you will. So it smell. So I don't think I will buy them again, even though they are beautiful. Like na right now, I've been burning the pumpkin pam uh, pancake. No, cupcake. <laughs> pumpkin cupcake. That is hard to say. Pumpkin cupcake. And that just fills my my room so much i can smell it everywhere it's gorgeous and i like those quite sweet cakey um candles maybe because i only really burn candles in a winter in the autumn winter and these are the smells that you want like the comforting smells because in the summer it's so warm we usually have the doors open so you can smell the candle right my lovelies i better go carry on <laughs> with my laundry as usual i see you later okay conquer tree lesson <laughs> so when i was reading your last monday comments i was amazed so many of you asked me what is a conquer tree what is a conquer and i was like how can you not know what conquer is <laughs> i was brought up with them but i suppose they are, they are native to southeastern Europe, but they are grown all over the world. So conkers come from horse chestnut trees. So uh, this is a picture of a horse chestnut tree. They are beautiful, have gorgeous leaves and beautiful flowers. And they can grow up to 100 feet. They can be enormous. So let me read it to you. So the horse chestnut tree produces prickly fruit capsules. I will insert a picture here. They like these spiky little, I don't know, capsules. Um, and when they ripe, they fall to the ground and inside them are those glossy nut-like uh, seeds. And they are quite big. I've got one here. This one is, this is probably like an average size, uh, but some of them are really big. And when you first pick them up, they are really lovely, lighter brown and glossy. But when they're in a the house, they dry up a bit and get a bit wrinkly. And um, we as kids used to play conquer games. <laughs> So um, they don't know where the conca name comes from. They think it might be from the sound that it makes like conk when you hit them together. So as kids, you drill a hole through the conca, have a big string and you play this game. Actually, there are conca championships all over the world as well, still to this day. Um, and you hit each other's conkers. <laughs> Imagine if we gave that to our kids these days, they would be like, what is that? Give me a phone. <laughs> yes, yeah, so these are conkers. And um, rumor has it that they deter spiders. Apparently it's not scientifically proved, but it's been working for me. In fact, I haven't had even, haven't seen even one spider yet. So, and that's the time of the year when they start coming in. So I believe in them. So you see, you learn something every day. So this was short lesson on horse chestnut tree and conkers. <laughs> See you later. Hello, my lovelies. So it's my birthday today. And um, like I've told you, Paul is taking me to Penny Hill Park for an afternoon tea. Uh, but I wanted to, so I will show you what I'm wearing. It was so difficult because the weather is, honestly, it's not summer, it's not spring, it's not autumn and it's not winter. It's like all in between, but it's quite warm. I wanted to show you something. I wanted to show you one of my <clears throat> birthday presents. So, you know, I said, I don't want anything. I don't need anything. 
but Paul was insistent, you know, I cannot get you nothing. <laughs> so I got the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette, the lipstick, lip liner and lip gloss from her collection. The only thing I didn't want was the uh, blush and highlighter. I hardly ever use highlighters and I've got millions of blushes. All right, I've got millions of palettes, but I've had an eye on this palette for a while, but I thought I will wait till Black Friday sales and get it. But as Paul offered, there is my present. It's a gorgeous palette and um, I'm sure I will do video with a few looks. All right, my lovely, so better show you what I'm wearing. This is what I am wearing. So. This top is very, very old, at least five years old. I actually have two of those. It's from Coast. It's really lovely, feminine, and it doesn't crease. Uh, the trousers are from Zara that I bought this summer, the same with the shoes. And I've got this uh, belt. Do you remember I bought a few suede belts and this one sort of matches? these trousers really well by the way these trousers had horrible black button but look i changed it into a gold one i didn't like the black one uh, for my jewelry uh, this is from Missoma London so is this this is my Scorpio sign that's why i'm wearing it today and this one is from QVC about ages ago it's not available anymore now, I don't know if to wear this belt or a gold belt. And then I also show you something over my shoulders. I have two choices and bags. So, this is the gold belt. It's a stretchy belt from Zara as well. I quite like this one. I might actually wear this one. And now for outerwear, I can wear this fluffy shrug but i might be too hot because it's actually really warm today so it's that or this long thin cardigan i actually bought it in spain um it's not too thick and i quite like i think it looks more elegant with something long now for a bag i was thinking to have the new teddy blake bag the pink one but it is completely different pink uh, like I said, it, it, it's more raspberry. So, and then I thought it would be too pink. So, I thought I could carry this beige Teddy Blake bag or all oh, my Gucci bag. Maybe the Gucci bag because it's a bit more embellished. Oh, I don't know decisions decisions anyway that's what i'm wearing and this is what paul looks like i think is that camera let's go a bit back let's say that's better yay <laughs> So we are in here, look at this lovely corridor, it's gorgeous. No, they not. <laughs> it's no. A, no. Mm. It's a Michelin star restaurant. Beautiful building. Wow. Oh look, that's where you can go. Let's have a look outside. Yeah. Yeah. 
at this gorgeous outside area where you can come and sit and have a drink and as it is such a lovely day we might just do that later oh do that then it's gorgeous look at it this is where they do the yeah, so you can get married here. You see that pergola? Beautiful. Oh, there are some chairs there. Gorgeous. So this is where I'm going to be having my afternoon tea. I'll show you this spa bit. People are actually lying out by the swimming pool in November, well almost November. So we are just having a drink because we are a bit early before my afternoon tea and for those of you in the US afternoon tea is a very British thing it's a big um, is it like on a stand isn't it uh, different sandwiches and cakes and tea of course <laughs> so here is our little table we are right by the window so we can watch people down at the spa swimming so this is our first thing, this is wild mushroom and truffle tart, I shall enjoy this. Okay so this is our afternoon tea, our cakes and little sandwiches and tea. I'm having Earl Grey. I'm having cat's weave. <laughs> they are so pretty. So we are done now. We both feel so full. We actually taken look. We had uh, I have a doggy bag of scones because we couldn't eat those. Oh, that was so much cake, wasn't it? Even Paul loves sweets. I'm not that into sweets, and even Paul couldn't eat it all. But do you know what the sad thing is? We were sitting there and all that time we were just worried about Louis being left on his own. <laughs> so it's like we can't enjoy it, can we? We can't enjoy going anywhere because we just keep thinking about Louis being left on his own. Um, we would feel much better if he could be here with us. So sad. It's only a dog. Well, he's our son now, isn't he? Because <laughs> our oldest son left. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, I am going to finish this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous and happy birthday to me.